I can't live and living is without you. I can't live, I can't live anymore. <laughs> That's how I feel about this blade. Yes, you guys have seen probably hundreds of videos of the Falkenhaven A1 survival knife. I gotta tell you, if you can only buy a one knife and one knife only, all right? Heck, if I would have bought this, you know, 20, 30 years ago, I would have never started collecting knives. I would have been it. <laughs> I would have been crazy or something. All right, hang on, because there's a few things I want to talk about. This is a Falknavin A1 knife video like you've never seen before. So hang on there. All right, all right. Everybody, welcome back to the Cowboy Seabop Show. If it's your first time here, welcome. Hit that sub button, won't you? Leave me a kind comment or two. Hey, if you have a negative comment, I'd like to see that too, because I'm in that kind of mood. All right? First and foremost, got to switch hats. All right. There we go. All right. Now we're getting to it. Okay, so I'm bringing you today uh, the Falk Niven A1 Survival Knife. Now, seriously, what I said about if, if I could only buy one knife, it, it, would be, it would be definitely this, all right? Honest to God, all right? This bad boy is capable for self-defense, hunting, combat, fishing, camping, butchering, and apparently diving. Okay, I'm not 100% on that, but they say this blade and sheath is water, like, prevent, water repellent, possibly waterproof. I don't know. Somebody out there knows if I could take this diving with me, which I may really soon in the future, let me know, because it would be a great companion. Okay, so... All right, the specs on this knife, it's 11 inches overall with a 6.3 inch blade. It's got that really cool Creighton handle. You know, I love my Cold Steel Trailmaster. I, I can't say enough about that knife, all right? I love the way it feels. Well, this is no different, all right? We got a quarter inch tang on this bad boy. And the, the steel itself is that VG10 laminate, which basically means uh, it's a pretty, pretty awesome steel. <laughs> okay. Anyway, when I say this video is unlike any other you've seen, okay, I'm not a huge fan of this sheath for some reason. I, I don't know. I mean, people say it's great. Hey, if it, if, if it works for diving, I'll use this for diving, all right? Um, but I found on Etsy um, a store by the name of RK Custom Kydex. So I reached out to him, and the owner was more than happy to answer any of my questions. More than happy. And when I decided on what kind of sheath I wanted, all right, it was probably on my doorstep th three or four days later. I'm not kidding. All right, um, multiple carrier options available. If you want standard, you know, belt loop, Kydex, in any color you want, they'll hook you up. I went with the police loop. Now, I've been wearing this on the back, on my back, right, right here out of the way and it's um it's very easy i don't know if i'm getting in there or not i'm not trying to show you my butt it's, it's actually very easy to you know hook on with these loops all right snap loops but yeah i went with the police blue um this just seems so cool so of course i gotta bust out you know 
this, this sheath is made specifically for the Faulkner Van A1 survival knife. And here we go. Where are you going? Nowhere. All right. I love this sheath. All right. And uh, again, it's over at Etsy. I'll leave you the link to the store. If you guys want to upgrade your sheath, check it out. All right. Can't beat it. All right. So now let's get back to the knife. Um, seriously. So you guys remember my Odin video? My custom Wyatt Haynes. I'm sorry. Wyatt Hines. I do it every time. All right. Wyatt Hines. He made me this gorgeous, big old Bowie knife. And this thing is just like a freaking tank. So I fell in love with the finish on this blade. The Faulkner is actually pretty darn similar. It's just a you know, shorter version, different steel, but you get the idea, all right? I can't really explain it. You'd have to see and hold for yourself. We're gonna come closer at the end. So yeah, I love, I love this knife more than anything. Uh, my custom from Wyatt. And this just reminds me of a smaller version of it. Okay, anywho, sorry guys, I gotta, put on my glasses here for a second I don't want to forget anything so yeah I want to know if it could be used as a, uh, a diver's knife all right um, let me see yeah RK custom kydex I'll leave you the link do, 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 do. this is a uh, the original sheath is called the Zytel and uh, you know I, I guess a lot of people like it um, I'm just not really a fan for, you know, for what you're spending on this knife, I think it should have came with a better sheath. And, uh, I don't know. I don't really need my glasses. We're just going to get demonstrating, shall we? All right. Again, I'll leave you a link for that. Okie dokie. That's just check sharpness out of the box, shall we? Again, you guys probably seen, you know, many of these videos. Oh, the fuck me then. I gotta tell you, I'm just over the moon with this bad boy. This is so sharp, I can't even like hear the tear. Let's be quiet, let's be quiet, all right? There it is, there it is. Oh, I love this knife, love it, love it, love it. Um, again, you can do whatever you want with this knife. I love the full tang action. Love the lanyard hole. I put the uh, camo paracord on it. The tang comes exposed at the end. You know, a little bit of a, uh, you know, skull crusher action right there. Uh, let's do a quick uh, little chopping demonstration. Let's get these burrs off, shall we? All right. Oh, Lordy. Some more over here. It's, uh, I don't usually baton with my knives, but this one you can. I mean, if you don't want to carry that big old buoy around, and you want something a little bit more, you know, better than your pocket knife, if you're only going to choose one knife in the world, this is it, all right? I can't stress it enough, all right? I just can't stress it enough. Love, love, love this blade. Is it in my top 10? Are you crazy? Abso-freaking-lutely, all right? Let me go clean up the edge here just a little bit. A little dirty from hacking that wood. So let's just see here. All right. Where's my jug at? There we go. How low can you go? How low can you go? There we go. 
off with the head. All right, let's do a little cleanup action here. Okay, going to leave you the link to uh, where you can find this Kydex sheath, which I love, love, love. I'm also going to leave you a link to the video I made the other day. All right, I don't know why YouTube's not promoting it. I know I'm a knife channel, so basically um, they promote my knife videos. But I have so much, so many others that aren't getting any uh, hits. And I'm wondering, are you guys getting notified? Um, I might have to change a few things. So that was the most important video I ever made in my life. All right. It has to deal with adventures with purpose and a missing Philly couple here. And I want to, you know, get awareness out there to everybody. Um, let's bring these, uh, let's bring these, you know, guys home. I mean, so the more awareness, the better. Somebody out there knows something. Why I'm not getting the video promoted out there, I'll never know. But it's the video I made yesterday. I'll leave the link. So please click on it. And um, again, you know, that, that's really important to me. So two links. Kydex and the Adventures with Purpose. Let's help find Danielle Imbo and Richard Patron. Okay? You guys have a safe and happy weekend. And that's about it. All right. I'll see you guys soon. All right? Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, crap. So... I already shot the video, <laughs> but I forgot a few things. I said I was going to do a close-up. All right, here we go. I already put it through the ringer. All right, and I was trying to say how the Wyatt Odin, like that, just that finish, you know, the convex edge, and I don't know, I, I can't, I mean, this has like a, you know, a bevel and all, but this, uh, this finish is just something else. All right. Yeah, I really do love this knife. All right. Again, here's the, the Zytel. And here is the sheath. Um, I'm either going to squeeze this video in <laughs> uh, the middle. Or hopefully you guys didn't click off yet. You know. Anyway. Um, I just put it through the ringer. But there was a couple more things I forgot to say. And one is... That this Faulkniven A1 has been issued to the Swe uh, Swedish military. And now I just heard that the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps are authorized to use this as well. All right. How true that is, I don't know. But I just can't see why not. You know, but anyway, uh, so I just put this through the ringer. Let's give it one more edge test. Right. Cleaned up pretty nice. My paper's a little damp. Not a ding nor dang. All right. Highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly. All right. See you guys soon.